Hey everyone. So on this channel, I don't really prefer to cover recent news or topics, mainly just because I'm usually too busy working on longer projects, and that more likely than not, one of my amazing fellow Bluey tubers will probably cover it anyways, since they're usually a lot better and faster at covering this type of stuff. But recently, a new, I guess you could call it teaser, or trailer for the new special Bluey episode just dropped. And while I won't be covering every detail in that trailer, because once again, I'm sure somebody else will already be working on that, and because I don't want to spoil too too much, although I will be mentioning some things in it, so be aware I guess. However, with that said, what I did want to discuss was one interesting detail that a lot of people have been talking about. And it's that in a shot of the teaser, we can see some of the family gathering for this special wedding and stuff. And you know, pretty much all of the characters we know and love are present, having a laugh and stuff, including Brandy. And of course, the fact that Brandy is there isn't really the strange part, but rather how she's depicted. Because as you can tell from this image, she has a decent sized bump on her stomach. Something that is incredibly odd, as she's never been depicted like this before. And interestingly enough, I actually first saw this when I was watching the trailer and looking over screen caps with my BF Ruli. So for once, I think I may have actually discovered something even though my post got nowhere near as much traction as the others who mentioned it. But to say the least, yeah, it's something a lot of people have also picked up on. And I wanted to discuss this further because I thought it would be interesting to go over a few potential reasons on how or even why this happened, and how likely each scenario is. Including, of course, the idea that she may or may not be having a baby, something that's probably worth discussing on its own. But before we get to that, I wanted to cover some other possibilities, which could also be true, but in my opinion, less likely. And to start, we'll discuss the idea that this could possibly just be an error or goof. Now, if you see my older videos, bless your soul if you have, you're probably more than well aware that Bluey is no stranger to animation errors, ranging from the subtle to the absolutely horrifying. And personally, I think there's a chance that could be the case here, as it could have just been an honest mistake, and the actual teasers and promos haven't actually given it any attention, and kinda just treat it like a normal thing, which I do find kinda strange. But with that, you can also argue that maybe they're just focusing on all the other stuff going on, as the new special does seem to have a lot of things happening in it. And on top of that, I'm honestly not really sure how this could have happened without being intentional, because redesigning an entire character's body shape would probably require some work to change. And not to mention that even if it were a mistake, it would be super obvious for anyone overviewing the project or checking for mistakes. So I think the chances of it being a pure accident by the animators is pretty unlikely. Which brings us to another question, which is, if it's intentional, why did they do this? And to answer that, there are two main possibilities a lot of people are bringing up right now. With the first one being that she, I guess, ate too much food at the wedding and just gained weight? Which, while certainly an interesting take, I also don't think is likely. Mainly because Bluey doesn't really change the appearances of characters who've lost or gained weight before like this. Unless it's like a character that was seen like decades ago in a flashback or something. And I definitely don't think that they would be the type to make a direct joke about a character gaining weight or something like that. Especially after an incident such as the controversy around the episode exercise. Where they weren't even necessarily trying to make fun of a character for his weight. And I mean, I guess you could argue that the pug lady from Granny Mobile did call out Bandit for his weight, but since she was intentionally written to be super rude and kind of offensive, I don't know if that really counts here. But with the idea that they're simply changing Brandy's weight being pretty unlikely, we can finally talk about the most popular theory, which is that Brandy might be pregnant and having a baby. What? And while it's certainly a popular idea, I can tell that some of you are already thinking that this one doesn't really make much sense either. Because it's widely believed that she's incapable of having her own children. Especially with what Chili mentions in the episode onesies. Why can't she just have the things she wants? Because it's not meant to be. 
However, one thing that some people look over is that in that episode, it's never exactly mentioned why she can't have children. We just know that she wants to, but for some reason isn't able. It's never actually fully explained. And many, including myself, assumed that she was infertile and that this made her completely incapable of producing a baby. But doing some quick searches, I found out that infertility and being completely sterile aren't actually the same thing. And that being infertile doesn't always mean that someone can't have a child ever. Especially in the scenario that she received medical help or assistance to help with this issue. Which I think could be the case here. And admittedly... It is kinda odd that she suddenly would have been able to fix this when she was pretty much coming to terms with the fact that there was absolutely no solution in her last appearance. But I guess maybe she found out recently by doing more research about it or realizing something when she like talked to her doctor or something. Although I feel as if someone like the doctor would have mentioned this the moment she learned about it. So I'm still not entirely sure about this one. Also, yes, I'm self-aware and I know that I'm looking way too deep into this for this cartoon show, but just for fun, let me continue cooking here. However, even with this idea in mind, there's still one major question left unanswered, which is that in the scenario that she is now able to have a child and actually succeeded, who did she even have it with? Place your bets, everyone. My college fund is going to that Bosco dude. But all jokes aside, I should note that to my knowledge, I don't think we ever actually see or hear anything about her having a potential boyfriend or husband if I'm correct. And it's possible that maybe she didn't have one at all up until recently and that's why she couldn't have a child rather than her being unable to produce one herself. And besides that, there's also the possibility that she could have used a donor embryo from someone else entirely, which is like the early stage of a baby developing, and that maybe the doctor or hospital gave her one of these to develop a child so she wouldn't have to produce one from scratch. And of course, when I say they gave her one, they would have like professionally transferred it and not just put it in her hands and tell her, have a nice day. But even with all of that in mind, those are just some of the ideas on how Brandy could have been able to produce a child. And personally, as crazy and somewhat far-fetched as it sounds, I think this last one is probably the one I would assume is the most plausible and the one that makes the most sense considering the show's context. Although it should be noted that, of course, Brandy is still a pretty new character. I think she's only been introduced in like the past couple years or so with like the play and onesies, so there's still a lot we don't know about her, and therefore making concrete ideas or having strong evidence is not really the easiest, so most of this is just pure speculation and kind of crazy thinking. But with all of that in mind, those are just some of the ideas on how Brandy could have still been able to produce a child, as well as some potential explanations for what's going on in the recent teaser, and for anyone who's wondered about that oddly specific detail anyways. Although of course the episode isn't actually out yet, so it's mostly just us thinking and we'll have to see what's going on when the episode comes out. But with all that said and done, I'm curious to know what you all think could be the case here. Is she actually developing a baby? Is it something else entirely? Or are we all just being completely nuts and looking into a blue dog cartoon way too much? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And until next time, my name's Hideaki, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye, everyone. So for today's art of the day, we have this amazing artwork by Kai Uwu on Twitter. Of course, quite appropriately, featuring Hideaki and fellow Bluey tubers, Ozzy Girl Margie and Pugly. I thought this crossover was a super cute idea and overall just super nice, so thank you.